Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today via tape delay from Uniontown High School in Bill Powers Stadium, the home of the Uniontown Red Raiders. It's boys soccer time as the Red Raiders take on the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Hi everybody, I'm Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupay and welcome you aboard for tonight's boys soccer game. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CU TV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay, and we'll be back with the lineups for both teams after these messages. The Fayette Furnace Company, established in 1920, with over 100 years of combined experience in the industry. They are employee owned and operated. They take pride in solving your home heating and air conditioning needs. They are the area's oldest and most reliable HVAC contractor. They specialize in creating quality energy saving comfort for your home by using the most advanced technology in the industry. Along with the Carrier Corporation, Fayette Furnace can put together a system to improve your comfort save you money on energy consumption, and improve any deficiencies in your existing system. They specialize in green speed inverter technology and split systems, ductless split units, zoning, radiant heat, boilers, hot water tanks, tankless water heaters, and many more applications. Call the Fayette Furnace Company today at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400. Ask for Mike to schedule a free consultation. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health.
We're back here at Bill Power Stadium. High school boys soccer action here tonight on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Uniontown Red Raiders hosting the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Uniontown 2-12 and overall, 1-8 and out of Section 3 in AAA. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs 9-4-1 and overall, 5-3-1 and in conference play. Jerry Rogers in his fourth year as the head coach of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Greg Peck in his third year as the head coach of the Uniontown Red Raiders. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs trying to solidify third place in the conference. I'm not going to turn it over to Randy Randolph, RPA announcer tonight. Junior, number six, Jacob Campbell. Senior, number seven, Alec McClay. Senior number eight, Brayton Steele. Senior number ten, Dylan Rice. Junior number eleven, Colby Davis. Junior, number 20, Jeremy Abraham. Senior, number 21, Dominic Margahela. Junior, number 25, Eli Mitchell. Senior, number 26, Todd Brown. Junior, number 27, Seth Yannick. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Mustangs. Number, junior, number 33, Dylan Seaman. The Mustangs are under the directorship of Varsity coach Jerry Rogers, assistant coach Jerry Rogers, and assistant coach Dave Sahida. Now, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and let's make some noise for your Union Town Red Raider boys. Number eight, senior captain Tyler Beachy. Senior captain number 16, David Eitner. Senior, number nine, Cole Walagora. Senior, number 19, Jonathan Davis. Senior, Captain, double zero, Brandon Bell. Junior Captain, number seven, Nolan Peck. Junior Captain, number 18, Scott Fitzpatrick. Sophomore, number 10, Noah Trimmer. Freshman number one, Jack Kovacs. Who else coming Friday? You have a freshman number three, Evan Hospa Davis. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Red Raiders, freshman number eleven, Aiden Shetterly. Red Raiders under the directorship of head coach Greg Peck, assistant coach Scott Scott Fitzpatrick. And once again, our illustrious trainer here, athletic trainer, Miss Virginia Tiki. Right before the national anthem, we're going to have a special recognition. 
Mr. Number, uh, excuse me, Mr. Cole Wallagor, if you would go right to the middle of the field. We have a special song for you this evening before we get started with the National Anthem, sung by Mr. Cooper Wallagora, and those of you that want to join in. Today is Cole Wallagora's 18th birthday. Great job there on the National Anthem. We're back with the start of tonight's match right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown and see Kim, Christy, Ted and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Davis, attorneys at law. But it's important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. We're back here at Bill Power Stadium, just about ready for tonight's match. Laurel Highlands at Uniontown. Laurel Highlands putting their 24-game win streak in this series over Uniontown on the line tonight. Final conference game of the season for both the Mustangs and the Red Raiders. Uniontown hasn't defeated Laurel Highlands since the 2004 season. The Mustangs looking to solidify third place in the conference. And, of course, the Mustangs will have to... Get the ball past Brandon Bell tonight. You go back to last year's Uniontown Laurel Highlands game at Laurel Highlands. Bell had 
27 saves against the Mustangs are underway with Laurel Highlands defending the gold to our left. Jeremy Abraham on the back line up to Dylan Seam and the Mustangs mixing up their lineup a little bit tonight as Eli Mitchell and Braden Steele switching positions. Eli Mitchell moving into the stopper role. Braden Steele at the left outside mid position for the Mustangs. They go with their modified 5-3-2 again tonight. Uniontown with their traditional 4-5-1 and we'll pass along those formations in just a moment. Here's Steele trying to break down on the far side. A little chip ahead to Colby Davis. Top of the 18. Well defended there by Uniontown's Aiden Shetterly deflecting it out on the far side for Laurel Highlands throwing. Steele sends it in to Eli Mitchell. A little touch back to Braden looking for the cross. Blocked out in front. Mitchell able to regain. Switches back with Braden. Sends it off to the Mustang back line and center back Dylan Rice. Rice off of Todd Brown. Regaining on the near boundary. Off to Tom Margella. Little misplay intercepted there by Hospa Davis, but Seaman able to pick it back up for the Mustangs. Little chip ahead there to Eli Mitchell. Played back to Alec McLean, cleared out of the zone by the Red Raiders. Mustangs will body down, but Nolan Peck playing it ahead, looking to set up David Eitner on the break down the far side, going all the way back. And Jacob Campbell sending it out. All last touched off of Jack Kovacs and Uniontown out on the far side. Might have been a foul there as well on the Red Raiders. Will be a free kick here for Laurel Highlands. Looks like the keeper, Jacob Campbell, will take it. Campbell about 12 yards outside of the 18-yard box, chipping it down the field, and Colby Davis on the run ahead. Davis picking it up, top of the box. Opportunity for McLean on the back side, hit it off the crossbar. Ball still loose out in front. Mustangs trying to regain. Healed back there by Davis, and the Red Raiders clear it out of play. Laurel Highlands by far the best scoring opportunity of the match, almost two minutes in. Call Wild Gora taking the safe route there for the Red Raiders. Seaman off to his left, top of the box, Braden Steele. Red Raider went down, we play on. Margello resetting back to Brown. Circles back to Dom again. Deep in the corner. Margello looks to reset. Another touch to Brown. Crosses out in front. Ball still loose. McLay is there trying to spin back. Sends it back to Seaman who fires. And Bell with the save. The Bell the little juggle but able to pull it down for Uniontown. So Bell getting tested early on here. Just three minutes in. But this match remaining scoreless. Good pressure out of Laurel Highlands. As Bell sends it back to center, knocked down by Dylan Seaman. No one home to his left. Red Raiders pick it up back through center. That run short-lived. And Braden Steele back on the attack. Nice through ball forward here to Eli Mitchell and Bell. Coming way out to make the save. Mark check here Donna. Also Juju and Mark. I don't like the speed we're seeing out of the Mustangs here early on. Again, Bell playing it back to center. A little touch there from Abraham up to Eli Mitchell. Mustangs set it up again on the far side of Braden Steele. Steele side of the box. Crosses out to Colby Davis. Davis trying to spin back. Nice little pass off to his left and firing. And Bell making another save there on Alec McLay. Bell doing a nice job there on the far post for Uniontown. Off of Bell and out. So another corner kick here for the Mustangs. Braden Steele will take it. Trish Gerard. Now we have the Voidens here, finally. And Steele sends it into the box over McLay's head. Seaman trying to poke it home. McLay, another touch. Ball still loose and finally cleared out by Evan Hospa Davis. All kinds of pressure out of the Mustangs here just over four minutes in. Laurel Highland still at the top of the box. Mitchell trying to send it back to McLay again. Poked out there by Scott Fitzpatrick. Steele again firing it in to Eli Mitchell. Mitchell top of the box. A little poke there from the Red Raiders. Seaman able to regain for Laurel Highlands. Sends it back to Dylan Rice. Uniontown band here tonight. Getting involved on the Red Raiders' final conference home game of the season. Off of Uniontown again. Todd Brown reloads. Off to Dylan Seaman. Now Brown again. 
Brown on the near boundary, lobs it into the box, and the play ruled off sides. McLay getting behind Fitzpatrick before the ball entered. Free kick coming back for Uniontown. And it'll be Fitzpatrick to take it. Knocked down by Nolan Peck. Played back to Jonathan Davis. Down the far touch line, Eli Mitchell finding it there again for the Mustangs. Mitchell coming forward up to Alec McLean and again ruled off sides. Our match officials here today, Steve Yako Penick and Mike Sinwell. Had Mike over the years, not only here on the pitch for the fall soccer season, but a very fine WPIL basketball referee as well. Red Raiders getting an opportunity now in the Laurel Highlands zone. David Eitner will work it in. Red Raiders also making a change, bringing Clay Burkabile into the match for the first time tonight. And a high throw in here, loose right in front of Campbell. And the Mustangs will poke out from Seth Yannick. And the Red Raiders will have to reset now from the near side as Noah Trimmer will work it in. Patrick down there. Trimmer over to Walagora. Walagora, the birthday boy here tonight. Lost it to Dylan Seaman. Another nice pass ahead to Alec McLay on the run. McLay unable to get around Scott Fitzpatrick, who does a nice job defensively again for Uniontown on the clearouts. Be a throw in here for Laurel Highlands. Ball going to the camera left of the flag in the far corner. Braden Steele and a little bounce in to Eli Mitchell. Again, crosses out in front all the way over to the near post. Going all the way through. Mark Gella now trying to reset. Fronted there by Noah Trimmer. Trimmer goes down. We play on. Todd Brown able to pick up possession. But the Red Raiders able to clear it out with Hospa Davis. Knocked back down there by Yannick. A little bit of a misplay, but Mitchell on the save. Yannick again, and now Mitchell. Mitchell coming forward. Mitchell top of the 18. Side steps off to his left. Still on it. McLay gets it off the cross. Played back to Brown, who fires. Now actually pulls it down out in front. Healed back there by Davis. Seaman unable to get a shot away as once again, the Red Raiders clear it out in front of the Mustang bench. Dylan Rice going quickly. Back into Margello, looking there for Brown. Goes high here to Seaman. Plays a little hacky sack with it over to Eli Mitchell, who fires right on goal. And once again, Bell making another save. For the Red Raiders, five saves already tonight for Brandon Bell. We've played eight minutes of soccer in this match. Still scoreless here at Bill Power Stadium. Bell again back to center, headed there by Mitchell. A little scrum forward here between Hospa Davis and Colby Davis. And it's Colby winning it off to Dylan Seaman. Seaman now resetting in front of the Mustang bench. Goes in between defenders. Still off to his left. A little touch there from Yannick. Yannick a little bit of a misplay. Steele trying to keep it alive, playing it back to the keeper, Campbell, who again is way out. And Campbell a little chip back to Braden Steele. Mitchell battling Tyler Beachy, and Beachy sending it ahead, but the play once again offsides. So a free kick for the Mustangs. Here at the 31-12 mark of the first half. Mustang certainly controlling time of possession early on in this match. But Brandon Bell keeping Uniontown in the game. Again played ahead by Campbell, headed back by the Red Raiders, trying to set up their attack with David Eitner. And for the run forward, Dylan Rice defending there for Laurel Highlands. Ball goes over in the corner to Beachy. Looks to cross out in front. Ball still loose. Eitner is there looking to fire block down, but Eitner stays with it. Eitner working it back, and the ball sent high by Evan Hospa Davis. Would have been three points on a Friday night. Nothing here on a Tuesday evening as Jonathan Davis re enters for Uniontown. Walla Gora out for the Red Raiders. Laurel Highlands making their first change of the night as well. And Limping here coming to the Mustang bench is Jeremy Abraham. That's the last thing Laurel Highlands needs, especially on their back line. They've had injuries throughout the course of the season. Jerry Freider will check in. And Jeremy Abraham still down. Of course, the Mustangs have lost Connor Rapp, 
and Zach Mansbury for the season. Two starting defenders. Now Abraham going down here on the down well. Mustangs final conference game of the year. Laurel Highlands will play two more non-conference games before the WPIL playoffs get underway. Traveling to West Mifflin later on this week and they'll host Connellsville to start next week and as Margella sends it ahead here looking for Colby Davis. Raiders again send it out here on the near side. Dom reloads into Dylan Seaman. Seaman circling off to his left. Playing it off there to Seth Yannick. Yannick now on the far side looking to send it ahead to Braden Steele. Red Raiders knock it down. Mustangs able to keep it alive. Off to Dylan Seaman who fires from a distance. And a one hopper picked up by Brandon Bell. That's save number six of the night for Brandon. And Jeremy Abraham still getting worked on right around the midfield stripe by the Uniontown trainer here, Virginia Tinky. Here's Seaman back down the near side to Margell. If the play's on sides, look out. Margella breaking, crosses out in front, and Davis unable to finish. Had the whole backside of the goal open. But Davis couldn't put it in. Colby enter the match with 15 goals on the season for Laurel Highlands. Came very close to number 16. As the Red Raiders defense there on a Mustang unevaded run back towards Bell. Laurel Highlands unable to take advantage of the opportunity. Now Jeremy Abraham limping over to the Mustang bench. He'll sit over on the near side next to the Gatorade cooler in front of Laurel Highlands assistant Jerry Rogers Jr. Mustangs can hope they can get Abraham back soon. Another offsides here on the chip ahead for the Mustangs. And Uniontown will take the free kick. 27-52. Left here in the first half is Clay Burkabau. One of the subs for Uniontown sends it back down the field. Now Braden Steele going a long way back. Defending here for Laurel Highlands and sending it out. And also over on that Laurel Highlands bench, we mentioned Connor Rapp, one of the Mustangs that got injured earlier on this season. Connor's there right next to Jeremy Abraham in between Jeremy and Justin Hartzik. Good to see Connor still at the games. As the Red Raiders looking for a scoring opportunity here right on the throw and going right to Campbell directly. That would not have counted if it would have went in unless it was touched in the field of play by a Red Raider. And talking to Jerry Rogers Jr. before the match, talking about how much they've missed rap so far this season. And for another run down the field here, and the Brandon ball Bell. scooped up once again by Brandon Bell. Right now they're icing Jeremy Abraham down. Virginia back over there with Jeremy, so maybe not a good sign for his future status here tonight. We'll wait and see. As Jerry Freider pressed into action here in this crosstown rivalry game and Dylan Seaman another nice ball ahead sending that down to Colby Livingston the freshman breaks in ball comes loose and just wide on the near side so the freshman Livingston coming very close to giving this match its first goal and once again the defense of Uniontown stepping up in the last minute making the save and the ball ruled last off of Laurel Highlands and outs. We had a ball here for Clay Burkabau. They'll send it off on the goal kick. Nice ball down to Tyler Beachy. Losing possession though to eight on the other side. That's Braden Steele for Laurel Highlands. A little slip there from Colby Livingston. Red Raiders pick up possession again with Beachy. Beachy on the chip ahead and David Eitner on his horse. The ball rolling back again to Jacob Campbell. Nolan Peck also on the Red Raiders break. As Campbell on the scoop up and the boot back to center. Our Islands also with Luciano Mackle praying into the match. Number 12. And a little pressure there from 
Colby Livingston. Ball knocked down again by Eli Mitchell. Touches down to Jerry Freider. Off to Dylan Seaman. Seaman top of the 18, works off to his right. Now back to his left, trying to dance between and around Uniontown defenders. Nice move there on Jake Kovacs, freeing it up to Eli Mitchell. And Mitchell fires from the far side and scores the match's first goal. So Eli Mitchell scoring here at the 24-35 mark of the first half. Mustang strike first, and we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbar. Back here at Bill Power Stadium, Eli Mitchell scoring for Laurel Highlands to get the Mustangs an early one to nothing lead after the Mustangs have dominated time of possession and have fired now eight shots on goal. Mitchell able to beat Brandon Bell on a nice line drive from the far side. And Mitchell has started the match as a stopper for Laurel Highlands. With a couple of injuries, the Mustangs have already moved around their formations a little bit here. And Eli, who traditionally has played on the left outside midfield position for Laurel Highlands this season, stepping up and giving the Mustangs an early one to nothing lead. Now Uniontown trying to answer back. Eitner on the near side, but Steele on the clear out. A little toucher along, though, from Noah Trimmer. Again played back out by Laurel Highlands' Dylan Rice. Off to Dylan Seaman. Seaman fronted by two Red Raiders. Trying to work around Benjamin Witt. Uniontown a little poke ahead. Back to Jacob Campbell. And Campbell again sending it back to center. Red Raiders knock it down. Go high again to Eitner. Headed back by Dylan Rice. Eitner trying to regain, but Eli Mitchell steps back in, freeing the ball up to Braden Steele. Knocked down at center by Uniontown's Cole Wall Agora. Lob back here on the near side. Noah Trimmer looking for it, but Dylan Rice finds it for Laurel Highlands and again sends it back to center. Aiden Shutterly on the knockdown by the Mustangs forge ahead. McLeay trying to come forward. Bell out of the net. And a push here called outside the box. A lot of contact. Players pushing and shoving for position, but they might rule this foul here on McLeay, who sent a Red Raider down outside the box. And Bell once again very aggressive for Uniontown defensively. And the foul called on the Mustangs. So Scott Fitzpatrick will put it down for the free kick. With 22-47 left here in the first half. Fitzpatrick sending it back to center. Freider trying to spin it back ahead. Knocked down by Nolan Peck. When cross field on the near side over to Noah Trimmer trying to Reset there to Benjamin Whip of the Mustangs. Kobe Davis picks up possession. Davis forging ahead. Davis into the box. Fires Bell another save. Ball still loose on the near side. Cleared out by Uniontown. Once again, Fitzpatrick on the clear out as Bell picks up his eighth save of the night. Dylan Seaman circling back again for the Mustangs. Off to Eli Mitchell looking for a first half brace. Mitchell still dancing between defenders. What an effort from Eli Mitchell tonight. Mitchell's still on the ball. Mitchell's still loose, breaks off on the far side, and the Mustangs get their second goal. It's Jerry Freider. So Freider, one of the Mustangs subs tonight on the assist from Mitchell. 
Two nothing, Laurel Highlands with 21.52. Left here in the first half. We're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're back here at Bill Powers Stadium. For whatever reason, the Laurel Highlands goal waved off. Goal disallowed by our match officials, Mike Sinwell and Steve Yakapenik. No explanation as why the goal was ruled off. So cancel out that goal by Jerry Freider. Look pretty. Set up by Eli Mitchell, but the match remains one to nothing. Laurel Highlands over Uniontown, but the Mustangs still buzzing. Little head out there from Burkabau, not cleared. Brown loose again, fires and just sends it wide on the far side. So certainly a little relief there on the Uniontown side. Looked like they might be down two. Less than 20 minutes into this match. But a disallowed goal giving the Red Raiders a little life here, only down one. Trying to get a little answer back here midway through the first half. In Utah won their last home game over Albert Gallatin, 3-2 here last week. Did lose a game on the road at Trinity. Laurel Highlands coming off a 7-0 win in their last match over Albert Gallatin. That followed a 5-0 loss against Albert or against Ringgold, excuse me, on the road. Looks like the Rams are going to capture the conference. They haven't lost a conference game, even though they've had two draws this season. Defeated Bell Vernon in a match for first place late last week. So right now it's the Rams in first, the Lemps in second, and the Mustangs holding a half-game lead over Trinity for third place in the conference. The top four teams qualify for the WPIL playoffs in all four Trinity, Laurel Highlands, Bell Vernon and Ringgold have clinched playoff spots so far this season. For the Mustangs, as far as trying to help their playoff seeding, looking for a convincing win here tonight and nice efforts in their final two non-conference games of the season against what could end up being two other playoff teams, West Mifflin, who's up their game for 2017, and a much-improved Connellsville team. That'll be the Mustangs' final home game of the season next Monday. Tyler Beachy on a little boot down here for Uniontown. Headed back again by Eli Mitchell. And still early on, we've only played about 20 minutes, but this is by far, I think, the best match Mitchell has played all season that we've seen. And really forced into a no, new role in excelling here for the Mustangs tonight. Scoring one goal, we thought he set up another that was disallowed. He continues to play well. On it again, gets around Jack Kovacs. And Mitchell still with it, poking it off on the far side. Over to Justin Hartsick. Now Alec McLeay looking across and blocked out in front there by Clay Burkabau. That should be a corner kick here for Laurel Highlands. Good crowd on hand tonight. A lot of the local community coming out on this Indian summer evening. Have some of the Uniontown band members down there adding to the festive atmosphere. As Todd Brown takes the corner kick from the far side, a little header blocked in front. McLay trying to regain, sends it out to Dylan Seaman and just deflected wide. Went off of a Uniontown defender going out. So now a corner kick here from the near side. Don Margella to take it. 18-12 left here in the first half. Dom puts it down. This one lofted on the far side. 
Seaman a little fan there. Davis looking for the header, still loose. And out of play, which way is it going to go? The ruling is goal kick here for Union Town. Last touch by the Mustangs going out. Also here from time to time in the background, our public address announcer tonight, Randy Randolph. Seventeen forty-two left here in the first half. Tyler Beachy will line drive here back to center, knocked down by Dylan Seaman. For Talek McLay, and now Seaman again. Seaman off to his right, coming forward. Gets around a defender. Off to his left, Eli Mitchell. Mitchell has to heel back to himself, getting around Jack Kovacs. Sends it into the box, and once again, Brandon Bell on the Brandon scoop up there for. The Union Town Red Raiders save number nine tonight for Bell. Back to center again, Eitner. Lays it down, was looking there for Noah Trimmer. Mustangs, for the moment, pick up possession, but David Eitner picking the pocket of Dom Margella. But Eitner loses it out of play. Eitner playing a little hacky sack with it. And Braden Steele will send it back to his keeper, Jacob Campbell. Campbell in the... Green keeper kit tonight. Headed back by Union Town. Knocked down to Berkabau. A little touch there from Wallagora. Now Berkabau again. Berkabau around the near boundary. Brown got a touch for Laurel Highlands. Couldn't pick up possession. Berkabau a little through ball. No one home. Was trying to send it there to Noah Trimmer. Again scooped up by Jacob Campbell. Jake back out to the top of the box. Right, you expected snow. Off of Laurel Highlands and outs. Substitution for Now Jonathan Davis will trigger it in. We'll take a quick timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov & White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalov & White. Scott Fitzpatrick into the match for Uniontown as we come back. 15-52 left here in the first half. So far only one allowed goal scored in this game by Eli Mitchell. We're just joining us had one disallowed as Jacob Campbell comes way out. Greeted there by David Eichner showing a little pressure there top of the box. Now Campbell sending his troops down the field. And we'll boot back to center. Headed along by Dylan Seaman. Mustangs trying to run it down. Good for a little heel back there was Walla Gora, but Brown picks up possession. Brown trying to reset. Goes back to Tyler Beachy. Seaman steps in for the Mustangs. Off to Eli Mitchell. Going wide on the far side to Justin Hartsick. Hartsick side of the box. Looks to cross. Knocked down by Hospa Davis. Mustangs stay with it. Mitchell trying to come free, but sent out by Kovacs. Knocked down by Dylan Rice. Off to his right to Margella. Margella poking it forward to Todd Brown. Deep in the corner looking to cross. Kovacs finds it again for the Red Raiders. Goes low. But Rice again on the knockdown for the Mustangs. Looking there for Seaman. Pass intercepted by Uniontown. Forward to Eitner. Stepping in though was Braden Steele. Off to Seaman. Through to Margella. And Margella, a little open space, breaking into the box. Margella off to his left, deflected back. Ball still loose, poked by the Red Raiders. Beachy back on it. With a little lob back in the vicinity of David Eitner. Dylan Rice defending. Eitner able to keep it in play on the run down the near touchline. Braden Steele getting back and sending it out of play off of Laurel Highlands. Another quick change. As Theron Chido will check in on the Union Town side. Replacing Jack Kovacs. Kovacs. And David Eitner will trigger it in here for Uniontown. Eitner, another long lob into the box. Loose on the back post. Poked there by Campbell. And Jacob able to scoop it up. 
and cool things down in the Mustang zone. High lob back to center. While Agora there for Uniontown. Sending it off to Chido. Chido on the push ahead here. Nice move from Noah Trimmer. And Trimmer fires from a distance. Going high. Trimmer taking that shot from about 25 yards out here on the near side. Still a one to nothing lead for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. As Jacob Campbell puts it down for another Laurel Highlands goal kick. Not a couple of balls out there for Jake. And the Mustangs entering this match 9-4-1, looking for their 10th win of the season tonight and looking to close out conference play at 6-3-1. Uniontown only one conference win so far this season. As we said, they came in their last home game. It was Uniontown's senior night as they defeated Albert Gallatin. And the Mustangs look at their second of the night. Colby Davis on sides here with a run for Davis. Fires and Bell another save. Bell now 10 saves tonight for Uniontown. The match remains one to nothing. Seth Yannick getting sent to re-enter on the Laurel Highlands side. And Clay Burkabau getting sent to check in for Uniontown. Red Raiders now looking for the equalizer. Nice ball for Nolan Peck on the run, but on the clear out, Jacob Campbell. Now the Mustangs trying to set up their own attack. Fitzpatrick a little header. Up on the far side to Jonathan Davis. And that one off of Uniontown and outs. So now Yannick in. Berkabau back in as well. Jerry Freider will take a seat. Noah Trimmer will sit down on the Uniontown side. As Braden Steele will send the throw in here for the Mustangs. Up to Todd Brown. Eitner, another nice ball forward going back to Jacob Campbell. <coughs> Headed along by the Mustangs. Just want to roll back to Brandon. Down to 11.04 left here in the first half. Bell sends it back to center to Tyler Beachy. Beachy trying to heal it back, but Don Margella there for Laurel Highlands. Gets around Beachy, off to his left to Dylan Seaman. Pokes it ahead to Colby Davis with the play again offsides. Offsides, Laurel Free kick again for the Red Raiders. Red Raiders start of the game with David Eitner up front. Hospa Davis, Peck, Beachy, Trimmer, and Kovacs in the midfield. While Agora, Shetterly, Fitzpatrick, and Davis on the back line with Brandon Bell in goal. Red Raiders start of the match with five seniors, two juniors, a sophomore, and three freshmen tonight. It's Justin Hartsick picking up possession there for Laurel Highlands. Forward to Dylan Seaman. And now Todd Brown. Back to the keeper, Campbell again. A little line drive forward over the head of Scott Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick trying to go wide around Alec McAlee. A little low ball down the far side. Hartsick finding it there for Laurel Highlands. Off to Mitchell. Now Dylan Seaman spins around Beachy. Now spins back and sends it off to Eli Mitchell again. And Mitchell and Seaman have been fun to watch this evening. Off to Hartsick. Touch there again from Yannick. Seaman again trying to spin off to his right. Dom Margella stepping in, keeping possession for the Mustangs. Another nice touch there from Seaman. Off to Mitchell again. Like watching the Harlem Globetrotters at times here on the pitch. That one off sides. He throw in some of the saves Brandon Bell's made on the Uniontown side. Match has been entertaining to say the least. We're down under nine minutes. Now left in the first half. Both teams have been making pretty rapid substitutions this evening as well. You have Jack Kovacs and Benjamin Witt getting set to re-enter again for Uniontown as 
Don Margello looks to head it, knock it down. A little touch there from Rice. Sent ahead. And Eli Mitchell on another run. Mitchell, nice play forward. Down to Alec McLeay. McLeay breaking into the box, firing and getting the Mustangs' second goal of the match. So McLeay scoring here with 8.26 left in the first half. 2-0 Mustangs. This goal will stand, and we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Fayette Furnace Company, established in 1920 with over 100 years of combined experience in the industry. They are employee owned and operated. They take pride in solving your home heating and air conditioning needs. They are the area's oldest and most reliable HVAC contractor. They specialize in creating quality energy saving comfort for your home by using the most advanced technology in the industry. Along with the Carrier Corporation, Fayette Furnace can put together a system to improve your comfort, save you money on energy consumption, and improve any deficiencies in your existing system. They specialize in green speed inverter technology and split systems, ductless split units, zoning, radiant heat, boilers, hot water tanks, tankless water heaters, and many more applications. Call the Fayette Furnace Company today at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400. Ask for Mike to schedule a free consultation. It's 12th shot on goal tonight for Laurel Highlands and Alec McLean. Even though Mustangs an insurance goal going up 2 to nothing. McLean and Mitchell, your goal scorers for Laurel Highlands tonight. A little scrum for it on the far side. Play whistled down on a push. Called on Union Town. So a free kick here for Laurel Highlands just inside their own zone. As we go under eight minutes left in the first half. And Jeremy Abraham still getting worked on by the Union Town. Trainer Virginia Tinkies, the Mustangs look for their third goal of the match, and that one just headed wide by Alec McLay. So it looks like from the treatment that Abraham's receiving, he'd like to re-enter this match tonight. Getting taped up over there by Virginia. Hopefully Jeremy is able to return. Always a fun match when Laurel Highlands and Uniontown get together. Jeremy, a junior for the Mustangs, he'll be back next season. And Scott Fitzpatrick will take the free kick here for Uniontown. Again, knocked down by Dylan Seaman. Off to Colby Davis. Playing it forward, but the only player there is Brandon Bell. And it appears that Jeremy is getting his left ankle taped up. It's Tyler Beachy works his way through center. And I send it ahead to Berkabau. Pass was a bit too far. Mustangs find it again. Eli Mitchell on the run. Mitchell, another nice run down the far side. Alec McLay was also there, but the run slowed. Red Raiders can't counter, though, as Braden Steele picks it back up. Well, another touch there for Mitchell off the seam. And now Mitchell again on the give and go. Mitchell trying to spin back. Keeps possession coming forward. Mitchell off to Davis. Ball still loose in front of Bell. Red Raiders try to head it out. Braden Steele will send it into the back of the net. They had Brandon Bell out of position. And Braden Steele getting his first goal of the match. Third for the Mustangs. With 6.15 left before halftime, it's Oral Highlands 3, Uniontown nothing. We're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. 
This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing, SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Back here at Bill Powers Stadium, three to nothing. Laurel Highlands leading Uniontown. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupag. I mean, thank you for joining us. Whether you're watching on Atlantic Broadband Channel 17, Armstrong Channel 61, or on our YouTube page, which you can find by searching South Union Television. Been an entertaining match, mostly controlled by the Mustangs, who put three goals on the board. They've been very impressive. Brandon Bell's done what he could do to try to keep Uniontown in this match. The Mustangs just getting some solid play all over the field, especially from Dylan Seaman and Eli Mitchell. And Seaman on it again. Nice boot down the far side. Who else? Back to Mitchell. Mitchell's side of the box trying to cross back off a Uniontown defender over to Alec McAlee. Red Raiders able to pick it back up. and Jack Kovacs try to work down the far side. Just send it off to Laurel Highland's Seth Yannick. Picked up there by Mitchell off to Todd Brown. Brown from about 45 yards out. Sends it back in <laughs> Brandon Bell's direction. And we're just about set to go under five minutes in this first half. Mustangs also with Jason Cooper out there. Cooper, a Mustang sophomore. Laurel Highlands, a nice run ahead. And on the far side, Mitchell unable to cross. Might have went off of a Uniontown defender going out. It did. So we'll be a corner kick here for Laurel Highlands with 430. Left here in the second half, Mitchell again to take it. Puts it down on the far side. A line drive. And just on the edge of the line, cleared out. That was Tyler Beachy. And I send it forward there to Berkabau. Coming wide, Nolan Peck trying to run it down, and Peck finds it. Going through Beachy and picked up by Braden Steele of Laurel Highlands. And through ball, going all the way back to Brandon Bell. Three forty-eight left before halftime. Steal a little poke ahead. Seaman finds it on the chip down to Dom Margell. A plenty of open space ahead for the Mustangs. Dom races into the box. Dom coming forward, sends it right on goal. And Bell is 11 save of the night. Arnold Highlands has taken 14 shots on goal here in the first half. Yeah, John Mershot sighting. Dylan Rice, and the trigger down to Dylan Seaman. Seaman sending it ahead to Alec McLeay, but offsides. Nolan Sennett getting set to enter the match for Uniontown, Red Raider Jr. Red Raiders in another line drive down the field. And off of Aiden Shetterly. Tom Markella picking it up. Off the body there, Hospa Davis. Brown in open space. Touch there by Mitchell. And Bell trying to find it, but the Mustangs getting a late poke. And another goal this time from Eli Mitchell, but they're going to wave it off. No. Goal waved off. Mitchell thought he had his second of the match. Waved off out in front. There you see Mike Sinwell. 
Steve Yoka Penick. Tonight is our match officials. Alec McLay with three Red Raiders around him. Over to Todd Brown. Down the far side to Mitchell again. Pressured and Jack Kovacs trying to run back. Mitchell picking it back up again for Laurel Highlands, chipping it off the body of Alec McLay. McLay now to Todd Brown. Brown off to his right. Going low on the near side, Eli Mitchell. Check that Dom Margella. Back to Todd Brown into the box off of McLay and going wide. Got a 115 now left before halftime. Alex Eichner and Nolan Sennett now into the match on the Uniontown side. That's Clay Berkabau. And Nolan Peck will take a seat. Scott Fitzpatrick to take a free kick. One of the Red Raider junior co-captains. Headed there by Seaman. On Dylan finding it again after the ball went off of Wallagora. Down to Jerry Freider slipping down the near side. And a 34 seconds now left here in the first half. Red Raiders got to go quickly here. I'm going to try to set up a late attack here in the first half. Bounce back to Dylan Seaman. And a 15 seconds left. Wide to Mitchell. Pressure there by Kovacs. Mitchell staying with it. Down to eight seconds left. We'll just send it back to the keeper, Campbell. And that'll do it for the first half as the Mustangs will take a 3 to nothing lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders to the locker room. And we're back to recap the first half for you in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, 
the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Three to nothing, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs lead the Uniontown Red Raiders here at halftime. It actually could have been a lot worse. The Mustangs with two disallowed goals in the first half as well. And the scoring got started by Eli Mitchell, a goal at the 24-35 mark of the first half to put the Mustangs up by a score of one to nothing. Mitchell appeared to set up Jerry Frider just two minutes later, but Jerry's goal disallowed. So we remained one nothing Laurel Highlands over Uniontown, but Alec McLay will make it two nothing Mustangs at the 8:26 mark of the first half. Braden Steele would add a goal at the 6:05 mark of the first half to put the Mustangs up three to nothing. It appeared that Mitchell had his second goal of the match. It was disallowed a few minutes later, but the Mustangs still sitting pretty up three to nothing over Uniontown. The Red Raiders letting goal by Brandon Bells made 11 saves for Uniontown tonight. Laurel Highlands with 14 shots on goal here in the first half of the match. If you're watching this game on Atlantic Broadband or Armstrong Cable, I'd like to let you know that South Union Township Sports Network games and programs are available online. It's easy to find. Just log on to YouTube.com and search South Union Television or follow the South Union Township Sports Network on Facebook for program updates. That's Facebook.com slash South Union TV. Again, here at the break, it's Laurel Islands 3 and Union Town nothing. Second half match action comes your way next here in the South Union Township Sports Network. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop in to Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them. Ready for second half match action, three to nothing. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs leading the Uniontown Red Raiders. Brian Morozak alongside Jerry Dupe. Red Raiders control the ball. They start the second half of the match, defending the goal to our left. Dylan Seaman, though, surging forward here for the Mustangs. And I send it wide here on the near side. Eli Mitchell able to corral it down. Mitchell's been having fun out there tonight for Laurel Highlands. Well, misplay, though, back there, intercepted by David Eitner. And sent along by Jonathan Davis. Lobbed off to Tyler Beachy. Braden Steele defending. Those two battle in the near corner. Beachy went down. 
Ball rolled out of play. Be Laurel Highlands goal kick here taken by Jacob Campbell. We mentioned Laurel Highlands with two disallowed goals in the first half. I talked to our match officials, Mike Sinwell and Steve Yokopenik, during the break. The first was ruled off sides. That was the Mitchell pass off to Jerry Freider. Freider was ruled in an offsides position when he scored the goal. And then on the second goal that appeared, the second disallowed goal that appeared that Eli Mitchell had scored for Laurel Highlands. The ruling on the field was that the Uniontown keeper, Brandon Bell, had possession of the ball when it came free. And Mitchell found it, so the ball was, in essence, whistled dead in possession of Bell. So that goal also disallowed, but the Mustangs still picked up three, courtesy of Mitchell, McLean, and Braden Steele. Now looking for another one here with Colby Davis. Davis on the run ahead. Davis still with it. A little contact there in the box from Scott Fitzpatrick. We play on if it's Patrick on the clear out. Scotty doing a nice job to get back there for Uniontown. Now a Mustang down. Todd Brown now hopping back up to his feet. But again, you credit Scotty Fitzpatrick getting back there defensively for Uniontown. And now with Brown getting back up. We'll step aside for a quick timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Theron Chido checking into the match for Uniontown, replacing Noah Trimmer. Todd Brown is okay. He'll remain in the match. The foul went against Uniontown, and in fact, Brown will take the free kick here for Laurel Highlands, about 34 yards out from the far side. Mustangs looking for their fourth goal of the match. Here's Brown. He'll chip this time. The Mustangs an opportunity here. Missed header. As our Highlands came crashing. Looked like Jeremy Abraham was the last Mustang to get a piece of the ball on the crease. Nice to see Jeremy back out there after suffering a left ankle injury in the first half of the match. Nothing really slowing him down there on that run forward. After he had the ankle ice down, then taped up. He's back out there for the second half, and that's good to see for a Mustang back line that, as we said, came into the match very short-handed. Mitchell will send it in to Seth Yannick. Off to Dylan Seaman. Touch there from Dylan Rice. An open space. The Red Raiders find it. Cole Wallagora. Well, Gore with a line drive. Back to midfield. Rice knocked it down. Ball loose on the far side. Braden Steele sends it ahead looking for Colby Davis. Defended there by Walla Gora. Went off of Cole and outs. Don Margella triggers it back in over to Abraham. Jeremy Header over to Dylan Seaman. They're diving. Save there from Brandon Bell, his 12th save of the game. 15th shot on goal for Laurel Highlands. Eli Mitchell earlier on tonight picked up his ninth goal of the season. Alec McLay picking up his 10th goal of the season. And the goal for Braden Steele was his second of the season. Ball again deflected out here on the near side. Played almost five minutes here in the second half. Ball off of Laurel Highlands and outs. David Eitner taking the throw in here for the Red Raiders. Down the near boundary. Seth Yannick misplaying it there for Laurel Highlands. Clay Berkabau will send it back to Eitner. 
We'll fire it back in here on the Indian Town side. Top of the box. Off to Eli Mitchell of Laurel Highlands. Indian Town with the all home whites tonight. Maroon numbers. Laurel Highlands, their traditional away red shirts, blue shorts, white trim and numbers. Mentioned Laurel Highlands, a four to nothing win over Union Town the first time these two teams met at Laurel Highlands. Looking at their fourth goal of the match here as Colby Davis charges forward and Brandon Bell comes in to step in and knock that opportunity away. But the Mustangs still buzzing here with Alec McAuley. Off to Dylan Seaman from 25 yards out right on goal. Another save from Bell. Mustangs, another opportunity. McLay, a poke, went off a Uniontown defender, still loose. Now sent high in the air. Beachy is there for Uniontown, battling Abraham. And Dylan Seaman back on it on the Mustangs side. So opportunities are plenty here tonight for Laurel Highlands. Seaman got tripped up. Should be a foul here on the Red Raiders. Now a scoring opportunity from about 40 yards out as the Mustangs look for their 25th straight win in this series against Uniontown. Again, the last Uniontown win, you have to go back to 2004. Brown, a little line drive. Knocked down there by Davis. Works off to his right. Heeled back over to Dylan Rice. And scooped up again by Brandon Bell. Went over a Mustang player there. That was Jeremy Abraham. Good to see both of those guys okay. And Bell, another boot back to center. Red Raiders now trying to create. Eitner on the run forward along with Beachy. Yannick defending. <laughs> Up to Eli Mitchell again. Low to Alec McLean. McLean forward to Eli Mitchell offsides. Offsides over Laurel Highlands. That must have been on the pass to McLean because it was ruled before Mitchell got the ball. Laurel Highlands certainly had a nice surge there. So Fitzpatrick again to take the free kick. We'll poke out from Yannick again. Back to Fitzpatrick and Aiden Shetterly. An open space. Abraham stepping up and finding it. Going down after a little collision there with Fitzpatrick with the Mustang stay with it. Forward to Colby Davis again rolled offsides. Been calling those offsides tight tonight. Uniontown Drumline doing a nice job to keep the crowd involved here tonight. Festive atmosphere for Uniontown and Laurel Highlands. The two schools football teams will meet here at Bill Power Stadium later on in the week on Friday nights. Mustang football team, a big win last week on the road at West Mifflin. Congratulations to the Mustangs on that win. Of course, we'll have the Uniontown Laura Highlands football game for you here on the South Union Township Sports Network with Gary Frankhauser and Rick Frank. Here's Eli Mitchell, a nice run ahead. Mitchell from the far side, crosses out in front. Ball to flex back. Mustangs trying to regain. Davis lays back to see, but unable to trigger a shot away. Pressure there from Uniontown. Abraham going back over to Davis. Triple team. Fitzpatrick winning the ball. And Fitzpatrick settling it down. A little poke there from Burkabau. But Braden Steele steps in on the Mustang side. Back to Eli Mitchell. A little slide tackle there from Jonathan Davis, knocking it out of play. Mitchell back into Dylan Seaman. Sending it back to Abraham. Picked up by Burkabau. Working his way around Seaman. Down to Tyler Beachy. Beachy trying to step around Seth Yannick. And Nolan Peck had a little poke. And a little bit of pressure there from Laurel Highlands. Slowing down that Uniontown run. Abraham again off to Seaman. Sending it ahead to Alec McLay. It's offsides again. A late call that time. Close. It's the way they've been, though, all night. Greg Peck, the head coach of the Uniontown Red Raiders, 
His third year at the helm, assisted by Scott Fitzpatrick. That's the fourth year now for Jerry Rogers as the head coach of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Or is Jerry taking over for Zach Seip? At the start of the 2014 season. Dylan Rice running into Theron Chido. Margella firing it back into Dylan Seaman. Dom again off to Todd Brown. And both the Mustang soccer teams have clinched WPIL playoff spots. The Laurel Highlands girls clinching the playoff spot last night with a win over Greensburg Salem on the road. By a score of three to one, the Laurel Highlands girls eight five and one overall, six and four in their conference section two and three A. Mustangs on the girls' side in fourth place in their conference, but a three-game lead over Uniontown with only two conference games remaining. We'll have the next Laurel Highlands girls' conference game for you here on the South Union Township Sports Network as they host Mount Pleasant tomorrow night. Ball deflected out. And this is the final day of conference play for the boys. Bell Vernon also playing here in Fayette County against Albert Gallatin. And Trinity playing at Ringgold. Rams 7-0-2 in the conference. Leopards 6-2-1. And again, the Rams, Leopards, Mustangs, and Trinity Hillers will be the four playoff qualifiers out of Section 3 and 3 A's. The Mustangs have a free kick here taken by Todd Brown into the box. McLay sends it along as it one hops back to Brandon Bell. 16th save of the night for Bell. Senior night for the Uniontown girls hosting the Bell Vernon Leopards. Make sure you come out tomorrow night, 7 o'clock start for the Uniontown Yannick sending it back in. Headed there by Beachy. Another touch from Yannick. Into the air to Jonathan Davis. Mustangs knock it down. Dylan Seaman up to Eli Mitchell. Mitchell another touch forward. Davis on the doorstep and Bell another save. Bell. Bell has been busy again tonight. We're down to 27-12. Left here in the second half. Three goals for Laurel Highlands in the first half. We've been scoreless here so far in the second half. Dylan Seaman, again trying to create. Nice ball forward to Alec McLay. McLay is loose. He fires Bell, getting a piece of it. Off to Mitchell, crosses out in front. Bell comes diving back. Is it in? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Bell made the save and never went past the goal line. Bell somehow kept that ball out of the back of the net. Tonight is also... With zero defenders back... Bell doing a great job to keep the Mustangs off the board here in the second half. Making saves 18 and 19 on that last Mustang trip down the field. He's trying to get a little help from his offense now. I'll take a quick time out with a couple of substitutions here in 25.50 left in the second half here on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
Davis and Davis, helping the injured. In any endeavor, experience is probably the most important factor, but it's got to be the right kind of experience. Experience in the community where the case is tried, where the jurors live, where the judges work. We've been doing this since 1976 at Davis and Davis. That's a long time. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Back here at Bill Powers Stadium, still three to nothing. Laurel Highlands Mustangs leading the Uniontown Red Raiders. Jacob Campbell sending it back to center. The back of Eli Mitchell. David Eitner looking to give the Red Raiders a little offense here tonight. Unofficially have the Red Raiders with only three shots on goal. Laurel Highlands with 22 shots on goal so far in this match and 19 saves by Brandon Bell. Play again whistled down as Jack Kovacs will check back into the match. Clay Berkabau will check out on the Uniontown Sun. Trying to reposition the ball here on the far side for Uniontown throwing. Going over to Walla Gora. The line drive top of the box, knocked down by Eli Mitchell. Sent back on, and there's a shot on goal on the Uniontown side. And their fourth of the Knights. Campbell making the save. Had a couple of balls in his direction, but as far as true shots on goal, haven't been many on the Uniontown side. Jerry Freiter. Up to Todd Brown. A low ball forward. Colby Davis on the run. And the ball just deflected wide. As again, Uniontown getting a little sloppy on their back line. A little miscommunication there between Fitzpatrick and Bell. Red Raiders catching a break. Now Fitzpatrick put it back down. Another goal kick. Eli Mitchell trying to spin back. Off of Laurel Highlands and outs. Down to 23-22. Left here in the second half. Kovacs sending it ahead. Up to Jeremy Abraham. Nice through ball forward to Colby Davis. Davis on the run. Davis coming forward. Bell coming out, and Davis got the goal. Colby Davis picking up his 16th goal of the season, scoring here at the 23-01 mark of the second half of the Mustangs. Taking a 4-0 lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders. We're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Four to nothing lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders. We're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
you got a nice little clear going there. Colby Davis picking up his 16th goal of the season, first of the night. As the Mustangs, again, a lot of pressure coming down the field. Davis beating Brandon Bell. And the Mustangs going up four to nothing. See him in another chip ahead to Eli Mitchell. Mitchell in open space. Mitchell fires Bell. Another save. Ball still loose and Bell on the scoop up. Save by Brandon Bell. 20 saves tonight for Brandon Bell. His defense at times hasn't given him a lot of help tonight. A lot of odd man rushes back for Laurel Highlands. What do you do when you have two or three opposing team's players tracking down on you with no defenders back? Here we go again. Another odd man break coming forward. Eli Mitchell. Mitchell fires again, and this time he beats Bell. A brace tonight for Eli Mitchell. And now for Mitchell, that's 10 goals on the season, 5 to nothing. Mustangs over the Red Raiders, 21-56 left here in the second half, and we're back in a moment here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Choose from many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop in to Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Now 5 nothing Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. Mitchell getting his... Second goal of the night, 10th of the season. The Mustangs scoring two goals, about a 105 apart. Davis had the goal at the 23-01 mark of the second half, and Mitchell scoring at the 21-56 mark of the second half. And the Red Raiders, who hung with Laurel Highlands, even though the Mustangs were at a slot, a shot on slot in this match, it was one to nothing until the 826 mark of the first half when. Alec McLean scored, then Braden Steele added a goal about two and a half minutes later. And a 3 0 at halftime. And after the Red Raiders did a good job through about 17 minutes, keeping Laurel Highlands off the board here in the second half. Two goals. Then 105 of one another, Davis and Mitchell. Look about man of the matches. You have to look at Eli Mitchell, what he's done out there for Laurel Highlands creating throughout the course of the night. And, of course, on the Uniontown side, Brandon Bell has done everything he could to keep his team in this match. Dylan Seaman has also played a solid game for Laurel Highlands tonight. A little push there between Jack Kovacs and Braden Steele. Set up a free kick for Laurel Highlands. We talked about the Mustangs changing formations a bit tonight. Started the game with Mitchell in that stop or roll, but then kind of adjusted formations a little bit after Jeremy Abraham's first half injury. And Mitchell has basically played all over the field here tonight. Now 
You mentioned the injuries on the Laurel Highlands side, and Colby Davis trying to break back here. Solid defending that time for Uniontown. Red Raiders, nice low ball there from Jack Kovacs down the near line. Deflected out off of Jerry Freider, but the one injury I think that was bigger than any other for Laurel Highlands this year was losing Connor Rapp. Connor does so much out there for the Mustangs and really played both the stopper and sweeper role throughout much of the season. And Rapp is versatile enough. The Mustangs from time to time throughout his career have even put Connor back on the front line. And losing Connor, especially during his senior season, certainly tough for Laurel Highlands this year. And I think his injury, now look out here, opportunity for the Red Raiders and David Eitner able to generate a shot there in front of Jacob Campbell. But you look at where the Mustangs were with Connor in the lineup, and Connor actually working his way, walking with a boot on his left foot. Talking with Uniontown trainer Virginia Tinky there right around the 50 yard line. His injury, I think, dropped Laurel Highlands from being a contender for the section title to maybe just another playoff team in the conference. Again, nice to see him still out of the games, doing everything he can to support his team. Mustangs looking for more. Davis on the far side, a little pressure there from Benjamin Witts. Davis finds it again. And Bell. fires it right at Brandon Bell, and Bell makes his 21st save of the night. Don Margell, a little poke back to Dylan Rice. Off of Union Town and out. We're down to 17.48 left here in the second half. Still 5 nothing, Laurel Highlands. Davis breaking back again. Fronted there by Benjamin Witts. A little pass down to himself and then cleared out. By Walla Gora. Mitchell back on it again. Now they're looking for the hat trick. Off to Seaman. Over to Davis. Fires another save from Bell. Rebound loose. And the Red Raiders are clear outs. Jonathan Davis on the clear outs. Bell making another diving save. It wasn't for Bell back there. The Mustangs could very easily have double-digit goals on the board. Mitchell taking another corner. So going all the way through, deflecting around. Coming back to Eli. Resets to Dylan Seaman. Seaman fires one off the back of a defender. Seaman gets it back, works off to his right, keeping possession. Seaman still dancing out there for Laurel Highlands. A couple of slide tackle attempts from Uniontown. Off to Braden Steele. That one a little bit too wide for Dylan Rice. Off of Laurel Highlands announce. Brett Dolphy. Brett Dolphy seeing his first. Action here for Uniontown tonight. They might give Brandon Bell a break to end this night. It looks like the Red Raiders loosening up Jacob Schwartzentruber, number 28, with a keeper kit on the near side. He might see some late match action as the Red Raiders empty out their bench. Campbell sending this one back to center. Knocked down there by Hartsick. And a play to head to McAlee. Going off of Jonathan Davis and outs. Hartzig firing it back in again to Seaman. Lobbing it down to the far side. Over to Margella. And Dom able to keep it alive. Battling Benjamin Witt. Ball knocked out. It's off of Union Town and out. Another corner kick here for the Mustangs. Mark Gellin will put it down from the far side. 
And sent into the box, Seaman fanning on the first shot attempt, gets it back and scores. Dylan Seaman picking up his seventh goal of the season. First of the night coming here at the 15.01 mark of the second half. And we'll have a change in goal as Brandon Bell will check out. And we'll keep it right here just for a moment. A round of applause for Brandon Bell exits the night with 22 saves. For the Uniontown Red Raiders tonight, Jacob Schwartz and Truber in goal. And we'll take a quick timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Dylan Seaman picking up his first goal of the night and his seventh goal of the season. As the Mustangs, who have put 28 shots on goal now in this match. Brandon Bell made 27 saves. 22 saves, excuse me. Six nothing Mustangs. Arnold Highlands getting three goals in the first half. Adding three here in the second half. Now Schwartzentruber in goal for Uniontown. Ball last touchdown off of Uniontown and out. Going off of Colby Voighton. Here's Mitchell again breaking into the box. Sent out a play there by Fitzpatrick. Nolan Sennett will be checking in here at the next stoppage for Uniontown. Eli Mitchell put another corner kick down. Lobbing this high on the far side. Over to McLay. Fires blocked out in front by a defender. Should be off of Union Town and outs. It is. Another corner kick here for Mitchell and the Mustangs. Eli set to go. That one whistled down right at the shots. New goal kick coming back for Union Town. Schwartz and Truber Jr. for the Red Raiders. With Bell graduating, might be the starting keeper next season. Seaman pushed in the back. Nothing called. We play on. Jerry Freider picking up the loose ball there for the Mustangs. Red Raiders try to break back, and that one's off sides. This is David Eitner well, racing in. Not retrieving the ball, and Jacob Campbell, even though the play is whistled down, doesn't want it to go in. This is keeper karma right there. Doesn't want anything going by him, whether it's in play or not. He'll take the free kick as we go under 12 and a half minutes left in regulation time. Campbell sends it down. Headed around a couple of times. McLay trying to spin back. And a foul. Called here on Union Town. McLay will take the free kick. Mustangs were going to go quickly, but now think better of it. You know, if Todd Brown and Eli Mitchell both in the vicinity. Brown has shown a gun from a distance throughout his career. This one from 38 yards out will send it right on goal in the save made by Schwartzentruber. It's now 29 shots on goal tonight. Unofficially for Laurel Highlands. Schwartz and Trooper making his first save. Through ball forward here to Eitner. Campbell coming out. And we'll clear it out for Campbell. This will be his eighth clean sheet of the season. If the shutout stands, Campbell had eight last season for Laurel Highlands. 
Again, still two games remaining in the regular season before the WPIL playoffs get underway. We mentioned those two non-conference games for Laurel Highlands coming up against West Mifflin and Connellsville. And talking to Laurel Highlands assistant Jerry Rogers Jr. He thinks both of those games really key as far as the Mustangs seeding. Yes, they might be non-conference games that don't really count for conference positioning, but you look at a game especially against West Mifflin, another fellow 3A school that's going to be in the WPIL playoffs. A win for the Mustangs over West Mifflin can very easily get the Mustangs seeded higher than West Mifflin when that WPIL playoff bracket comes out in about a week and a half. Of course, the Mustangs also have a non-conference loss against a Thomas Jefferson team that, as of right now, is right on the borderline of qualifying for the WPIL playoffs. TJ, I think, came into the season as one of the favorites in 3A, and they've struggled a lot this season. Of course, they had that 2 nothing win over Laurel Highlands back in early September. They've not had the regular season they envisioned this year. Of course, the Jags knocked the Mustangs out of the WPIL playoffs in the quarterfinal round last year, and this is another ball coming forward that's offsides on a run ahead for the Mustangs. The Laurel Highlands looking like they'll improve to 10-4-1 overall, 6-3-1 in conference play, and they will finish with a win tonight in third place in the conference. Trinity entered the night a half game behind Laurel Highlands for third place. So no matter what the result of the Hillers game is at Ringgold, they'll finish behind Laurel Highlands in the conference. As Laurel Highlands laying one down here to Justin Hartsick, he'll cross and roll it in to Schwartzentruber. Goes into the books as another shot on goal. Now 24 saves for Red Raider goalies tonight. Two for Schwartzentruber. Todd Brown finding it ahead. And the Mustangs' final regular season game will be played at home against Connellsville. We'll bring you that game here on the South Union Township Sports Network in Connellsville. Much improved program. Of course, they play up in 4A. But they've had a solid season so far this year. And again, a win over a team like Connellsville can certainly help Laurel Highlands playoff seeding. And the committee releases the brackets for the 3A playoffs for 2017. This will also be the 25th straight win in this series for Laurel Highlands over Uniontown. And that one deflected off of Uniontown and out. As we go down to 8-12 left here in the second half. Another corner kick. Mitchell back to Steele. Steele fires on goal, and that, that one had deflected off of Scotty Fitzpatrick before it even got to Schwartz and Truber. Another corner kick. And Mitchell to take it. 7.45 to play. Mitchell again sends it into the box. Margello regaining on the backside. Back to Dylan Seaman. Now touched over to Todd Brown. Margella again. Freshman Livingston's also up on the front line right now for the Mustangs. Over to Steele. Livingston able to track it down. Actually ruled off of Union Town and out, so he'll stay here in the Red Raiders zone. Another corner kick for the Mustangs. Margella to take it this time. And Dom again going low, going right to Wallagora. Poked ahead by Dolphy. Now Beachy. Peck looking for it. Mustangs send it back down the far boundary. Over to Margella. Going right to Schwarzentruber. Give the Mustangs credit. They've peppered Uniontown keepers tonight now with 31 shots on goal. They're not backing down yet. Steele coming forward. Touch from McElpraying. Back over to Steele. This one goes through the box and out. For Uniontown goal kick with 6.18 to play. 
We've talked, of course, about the Laurel Highlands seniors throughout the course of our broadcast this year on the South Union Township Sports Network. We talk about the Uniontown seniors and who they're losing to graduation. Of course, Brandon Bell, the starting goalie here tonight, be a huge loss defensively. Tyler Beachy, Kowala Gora, two other senior starters, along with David Eitner, Jonathan Davis, and Josh Creighton. Off the Uniontown bench, all will graduate, and here's Mackle Prang, and again diving and coming out. Schwartzentruber making another safe. And deflected over to McElprang. Touched by Livingston. And going out here on the near side. On a 5.20 left. More subs. Jason Cooper. And Josh Phillips. And on the Laurel Highland side, Chido back in on the Uniontown side. Nolan Sennett trying to race back, but the Mustangs find it again. Tied Brown from a distance. The flex over to Braden Steele. Beachy went down as Phillips sends it out. Goal kick here for Union 10. So we'll still have two more regular season soccer broadcasts this year on the South Union Township Sports Network. The girls' final regular season home game. Coming up against Mount Pleasant. And of course the boys final regular season non-conference game against Connellsville. We'll have both the Laurel Highlands girls and the Laurel Highlands boys playoff games on the network as well for you this season. Of course in the first round last year both the Laurel Highlands girls and boys played at home in the first round. I don't think the Mustangs would get quite as lucky this year, but you never know. That was played on a Saturday afternoon. And there was actually one game in between the two. I mean, going back to last year, the Laurel Islands girls played early. And a Waynesburg Mountain Pleasant game maybe in between. And the Laurel Highlands boys playing their game against Greensburg-Salem. The girls, of course, got ousted in the first round to Gateway a season ago. That was the first time in about 15 years the Laurel Highlands girls had qualified for the playoffs, and here they are getting set to make the playoffs in back-to-back -back seasons. And certainly credit David Sahida and all of the Laurel Highlands girls who've worked so hard to get back into the postseason again for 2017. And look at how the Laurel Highlands boys team has certainly trended up as well over the last couple of years. Laurel Highlands. They were down in the dumps for a number of seasons. Went three straight years between 09 and 2011. Missing out on the WPIL playoffs as McElprang trying to break free. That one got blocked out in front. But since 2012, Laurel Islands has now made the playoffs in five of the last six years. The only year they did not qualify back in 2015 when they went 7, 8, and 3. Of course, the run started under Zach Sipe back in 2012. A first-round win over West Mifflin, followed by a loss against Mars. And what's interesting, if you go back over the last four Mustang playoff appearances, in all four years, Laurel Highlands made the playoffs. They won a playoff game. So that's quite impressive as well. The playoff wins coming over West Mifflin twice, South Moreland, then last year against greensburg Salem. So it's, of course, always nice when you can get in. But even better when you can get into the playoffs and win a game. So the Mustangs are very respectable. 4-4 four and four playoff record going back to 2012. Look to have success again in 2017. McElprang getting tied up there with Benjamin Witt. Final 145 left in regulation here as Josh Phillips comes forward. Sends it off to his right. And on the cross there from Margella sent wide. Mustangs packing things up off to our right. Heading back across town. Zach Layton might check in late here for Laurel Highlands. He'll come to the 50. 
Headed there again by Phillips. The Raiders knock it down. Campbell looking to keep that clean sheet on the board for tonight as well. Again, that'll match the total Campbell put up last year. It'll be his eighth clean sheet of the season. And, of course, Jacob Campbell for Laurel Highlands, only a junior. He'll be back in goal for the Mustangs next season as well. Always nice when you can have a solid man in between the pipes. Phillips. Raiders knock it down again. That one went off of Senate. Phillips again with a little pressure there from Chido. Sent ahead by Abraham. Looking there for Jason Cooper. And the Red Raiders send it wide. 18 seconds left in the match. Again, your goal scores for Laurel Highlands tonight. Eli Mitchell with a brace scoring two. Dylan Seaman, Colby Davis, Braden Steele, and Alec McLay also picking up goals for the Mustangs. Brandon Bell made 27 saves in goal for Uniontown. Jacob Schwartzentruber coming in late. And Laurel Highlands picking up a 6 to nothing win over Uniontown this evening. The Mustangs improving to 10-4-1 overall. They finished conference play at 6-3-1 overall. The Red Raiders dropped to... 2-13 and 13 overall, and they finish up conference play at 1-9. and nine. The Red Raiders, they still have two games remaining as well in the regular season. They'll host Brownsville be before wrapping up their season at Geibel. Again, the Mustangs next in action at West Mifflin. They'll play their final game of the regular season against Connellsville here on the South Union Township Sports Network before the WPIL playoffs get underway. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands defeating Uniontown by a score of 6 to nothing. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, including Gary Smith. Again, I'm Brian Morozak with Jerry Dupay. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Again, your final score, Laurel Highlands 6 and Uniontown nothing. So long, everybody.